Salam everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we kind of have a weird day because Dawood and I are not having a thought together. So I'm not really sure what he's doing, but I'm invited to my friend's house for iftar. She's having like a girl's night type of iftar. We have some work today to do. We are working on releasing some new stuff for Ramadan um, over at Ferris. I'm so excited for these pieces, you guys. I've been working on these pieces for like eight months now and the launch day is almost here. We're launching them on Friday, inshallah, at 12 p.m. EST. First thing on the agenda today is to go get a haircut. Funny story is I actually just recently got a haircut because I was like, oh, I need a haircut, it's been a while. So I ended up going and getting a haircut after my Pilates class. There was like a salon like right in front. And I was like, oh, the salon looks good. You know, silly me, I didn't check the reviews. I don't even know why. But anyways, I walked in and I asked for a cut. I sat down. I kid you not, within 10 minutes of sitting down on that chair, she's like, okay, you're done. I've never had such a quick haircut in my entire life. And it's not quick because she's like amazing and knows what to do. It was literally quick because she didn't do anything. She like just grabbed my hair and was like, snip, snip, grab the other side, snip, snip. Okay, how do you like it? And I was like, wait, wait, you're done? And the thing is like, they asked me, they were like, oh, did you wash your hair already? I was like, yeah, I washed my hair yesterday. They're like, okay, so no need to wash it. I thought you like, that's part of the haircut price. Isn't that part of the haircut price? And the haircut wasn't even cheap. So I was so confused, like why there was no like, I look forward to someone washing my hair at the salons. I was so confused why this experience was just so like odd. And that's not even like the worst part. The worst part is the haircut is uneven. One side is longer than the other. And I pointed that out to her in the salon. I was like, hey, I think one side is longer than the other. And then she was like, oh, no way, mustahil, which means like absolutely no way in Arabic. At that point, I was just like so over the haircut that I was just like, okay, thank you so much. I paid, I left. Thankfully, I'm not the type that like, you know, cries or gets like super worked up over a haircut. Like I really don't care. It's the last thing that I care about, but I still need to fix it up because, you know, it's uneven. So I'm going today to kind of fix up the cut and I'm actually going to my friend's um, hairdresser that she really recommends. So hopefully this will be a better experience. Also, my friend's iftar is kind of, has a theme to it. It's like a galabia night. And when she sent me the invite, I was like, what's a galabia? I have no idea what that is. Because we don't really have that in the Lebanese culture. And I know that a lot of other Arab cultures do have that. Now that I know what it is. But I basically don't own anything like that. So I had to order. So I went and ordered from Nemshi, which is like, I don't know, like an ASOS of the Middle East. <laughs> and I got this blue one that I think is going to be really cute. So basically, if you don't know what a galabi is, it's basically like... A uh, house abaya almost so it's like a abaya but it's not meant to be really worn out I guess um, it's more of like a house one so they usually come with like a deeper neckline maybe short sleeves or something like this but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it so I just kind of grabbed whatever because like when am I gonna wear this abaya again other than like another girl's if thought but I grabbed this one I thought it was really cute I really like the color this is what it looks like from the top it has like a really nice um, embroidery detail. It has that like V-neck that I would normally not go for in a abaya because when you wear the hijab, it's super annoying. But since this is, you know, a house abaya, it's all good. And then it comes with like a belt to cinch in the waist. And then when I fix my uneven haircut, hopefully it'll be all coming together. <laughs> I almost forgot to mention, I am also making it a goal of mine this year to finish the Quran again, inshallah. I actually finished it last year and I'm so happy that I did because honestly, I benefited so much from it. And it was just such a nice experience to make that my goal and make sure I actually do it. So this year I'm doing the exact same thing and I've actually made a tracker for you guys so that you guys can keep track of your daily readings and make sure that you're getting them done. This is what it looks like over here. I have it in my Instagram under my Ramadan 2024 highlight. If you guys want to head over there and take a screenshot of the empty version, 
um, and then you can add little check marks in those boxes that you see every day that you do your reading and inshallah with this tracker we can finish the Quran together and what's really important when you're reading by the way is not just to read to finish the Quran it's not a race at the end of the day try to screenshot or um, take a picture or make note of at least one verse from your daily readings that really stood out to you or that maybe confused you or something that you're wondering about to research about and look further into that way you're benefiting from every single reading i've been doing that and it's been really helping me kind of zone in on what i'm reading and not just read it for the sake of reading it you know hello from the car as per usual that's when i come in yeah that was the designated driver always i um, want to be a passenger princess one day turn right so right now we're going over to my hair appointment and also Dawood's dentist appointment. He's actually doing this whole thing at the dentist. He is changing his crowns. So if you guys don't know, Dawood did like a smile makeover a few years back. Yeah. How many years has it been? Like four years? It's been five years. Yeah, he did that. And then now he's getting a bit of irritation and infection on his gums. Well, I have been, but now it's getting really bad. Yeah, it's getting really bad. So he needs to go get some adjustments done. Not adjustments. I have to replace them. Yes, and, and unfortunately, it's getting so bad that I have to do it now during Ramadan. Yeah, so he is going to the dentist. Wah, wah, wah. I hate the dentist. But it's been a long progress. I got like Invisalign done to my yeah, teeth. Yeah, to teeth straighten his straight. bottom teeth. Yeah. So uh, I'm good. I'm He's good. Just there. right now, I'm just not looking forward to getting needles in my mouth. Ooh, that sucks. So I'm gonna drop him off and uh, then... You're gonna drop me off? Well, he's gonna drop himself yeah, off. that's what I thought. And then I'm gonna take the car and go to my hair appointment, which I'm not looking forward to, to be honest with you. I don't Next find therapy that. in uh, cutting my hair or sitting there. I getting a uh, haircut too. Yeah, I just don't like it. Bye, Dawood. Well, I'm gonna have fake teeth right now. You're gonna get a needle in your mouth. <laughs> Good Ramadan. Update, I got my haircut and I love it. I was right, by the way, the other girl ruined my hair and the hairdresser confirmed that one side was longer than the other. Um, but I ended up going to Tips and Toes and I asked for Rana, um, the Tips and Toes location in Dubai Hills. So if you're in Dubai and you're looking for a good hairdresser, I recommend her because I found it difficult to find someone good. Um, and you don't want to go through what I went through. Now I'm at Dubai Hills Mall. And I'm gonna go in and try to find um, something to bring with me to the Aftar tonight. Something yummy, maybe a fruit tray or some sort of sweets or I don't know, some sort of dessert. But uh, I'm still waiting on Dawood to call me to pick him up so I have some time. So let's get going. Also Dawood just texted me showing me a update picture of what his teeth look like right now. And they are in full shark mode. So here's a little sneak peek of that so you guys can get a good laugh. Look who joined me. Yeah. Why didn't you pick me up? I had to take a taxi here. So, That's so I was meant to pick him up, but I didn't finish what I was trying to do here at the mall. So I told him to taxi over and the wood has temporary teeth in right now. They don't look bad, they look good. They don't look bad, just... His other temporary teeth, when he had them done in Lebanon, were like horse teeth. I'm but sorry, yo, but... Underneath this is scary. So now we are about to head home because the wood said he has work. And then I'm gonna get ready and go to my girls of thought. I'm what are you going out to do? with my friends too. Oh really? You're, okay. Okay. So this is the thing. We have couple friends, and so when the girls meet up, the guys get jealous and they want to meet up too. So yeah. Guys, how beautiful is this setup at my friend's house? These are like the little picnic stands. They're so cute. Oh, look at this little dot. <laughs> how good does this all look? We have tabbouleh, fatouche, biryani. Masakhan chicken, soup, and drinks. So we have latte cake, cookies, and what is that called? Fondue? Fondue. Fondue. <laughs> All the vibes for tonight. Dunya is the Karak master today. It's a hijabi party, guys. Sorry, only Dunya can show in this video. I'm the only one here, actually. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, guys. Another day. Another day in the car. This is a new day. It's the next day actually. Today's day four of Ramadan. Yes, day four of Ramadan. So far so good. The reason why I'm vlogging today as well is then because no yesterday I couldn't vlog as much because we were at a girl's iftar and no one was wearing a hijab. So it it's like a non-hijab party. It's a non-hijabi party, you know? So 
Today we are heading to um, a photo shoot for our Ramadan collection that's launching tomorrow, inshallah, at 12 p.m. EST. And we also have a special discount code for everyone on yes. YouTube. It's called... YouTube fam. I'll put it on the screen over here. Um, that way you guys can get a little discount because you guys are our family here. We're at the location now. This is Ryan, a part of our social media team, the new addition to our vlogs. <laughs> Though it is the hanger, he's literally holding all the stuff that we have to shoot. And we're waiting for our model and we're in Al Sif, which is such a beautiful like heritage area. And I think it's going to look so nice in the content. So let's go. So this is part of our Ramadan collection. New collection coming tomorrow. A little sneak peek for our YouTube family. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And this is behind the scenes on what's going on. <laughs> it's a abaya denim linen style, which is cool. And it's a two piece stuff. We found such a cute location with this door over here. It's very like old town vibes, which I really love. And the abaya is looking so beautiful on the model. Also want to mention that there are pockets in this abaya, which is always a plus. <laughs> How does it feel wearing the hijab? You know, it's actually very breathable. Yeah? Like, we were walking and they were like, it's so hot. But I was like, no, it feels good. Like, it's nice. Like, that, that's really, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's really good. Parachupan. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we feel here. So we parked really far away from the photo shoot location because there's a designated parking area. And guess who has to walk all the way there to grab the other outfit? Yeah, and it's really hot. I'm fasting. I'm starting to get the fasting brain where, you know, the brain fog that you can't think straight. I think I just need coffee. I can't wait till we break our fast today, inshallah. Jasmine's focused in, dialed in. This is the second outfit. Comes in. How many colors? Um, three colors. You would have seen Jasmine's reaction when she saw all these kittens. It was crazy, but they're pretty cute. They're so cute. The guy's playing with his long tail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Why don't you guys have a cat? We did in Canada. What yeah, cat? in Canada. Yeah. We it's never been held before. Because we travel too much. Uh, yeah. Welcome back to our car. <laughs> the place that we're always at. Um, we just finished the photo show. It was super successful. Alhamdulillah. You guys got to see a little sneak peek of what some of the pieces look like. There's obviously a lot more in the in the drop. There's a lot um, now, and then there's more even nicer coming, ones yeah. coming. Hopefully, in next near week. mid Ramadan. mid yeah mid Ramadan. Um, and now we are obviously so hungry, and I'm so thirsty. Yeah, I, know, me too. I think thirsty. that's what's hitting me just the thirst because it's so hot outside today, and we were literally like in the middle of the desert <laughs> vibe. Um, <laughs> no. Now we're going to get some steak because Dawood is craving steak. I'm not a steak person, but you know what? When you're fasting, you'll have anything. So um, we're going to do steak and maybe mashed potatoes. Do you want a salad? I do want a salad. A salad as well. So yeah, I'm excited for tonight's iftar, inshallah. And we'll update you guys on what the steak ends up being like if it's actually good or not. The veggies are washed for the salad. I'm just gonna wait until they dry a little bit and then I'm gonna chop them up. We also have our steaks. Dawood is doing like a thicker slice whereas I'm doing a thinner one. I started on the mashed potato by boiling the potatoes. Once this is all boiled and cooked all the way through, I will then start mashing, add the butter, cream, all that good stuff. Here is today's simple iftar. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Well, I already started eating. Thank you for waiting for me. Um, no problem. <laughs>